success in the straight line. It's a maze. And when you think you figure that maze out, you hit a wall. And you gotta turn the fuck around and start again. Stay hard. There's always someone out there working harder than you. I'm haunted by that motherfucker. Know that that someone out there is willing to forgo personal desires and comforts. Forgo sleep. Forgo whatever it takes to be better. To be the best. But you know what? Fuck that. When the alarm goes off in the morning, you have to wake up. Don't wake up, don't worry about that. When you're in school, you know what? Fuck that, man. It's too hard to study. So don't study. You know what? Don't eat healthy, because you don't have to. So guess what? When you fail, don't blame your mom. Don't blame your dad. Don't blame teachers. The only person you have to blame is yourself. Hey, you just lost everything. How the hell are you this fucking damn motivated? Because this is what it takes. This is what the fuck it takes. The biggest key to success in anything you do is you got to have an unlimited supply of fucking fuck you. This drive and passion. And it, and it may come from nothing. Like for me, there was no passion, no drive, no nothing. But I had this fire that I'm going to be somebody. And it has to be there because on all those bad days, on all those days you don't want to do shit, you have to be your own motivator, your own coach, your own your own trainer, your own everything. A lot of people say that nothing's impossible. Shit, I even said that nothing's impossible several times in my life. I lied. There's a lot of things that are impossible for you to do. What happens is when we come across something that's very hard and we try it once or maybe twice, we then say, we're done, we can't do it anymore. Before you say something's impossible, do it and do it and do it to a level that people think that you might be fucking crazy until you say it's impossible. I'm tied up, hands and feet. I fucking hate the water. I sink like a fucking rock. But this is the one thing that almost stopped me from feeling my dreams. You wanna be the baddest motherfucker ever at what you do? You can be misunderstood by everybody because you're gonna be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. And that's what it takes. That's the truth. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody said balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. It is. But if you wanna fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you fucking do, you, you've arrived. So today, I decided to try to PR my long run. So the first half of the run, I'm feeling great. My mind is clear, nothing going on. Think about nothing but my, just my running pace, what I'm doing, my breathing, everything like that. Get to mile 15, I turn around, and the demons start to creep in. That inevitable wall is creeping up on me. When you push so hard, something's about to give. And I start to give. My mind starts to break down. I start to feel my legs starting to hurt. I started feeling dehydrated. I started feeling sorry for myself. I started looking around. No one knows I'm fucking out here running. Why don't you go ahead and just stop? Call your girl, have her pick you up. And that's when I feel like a little bitch. And this is when your mind has to fucking change. You gotta start thinking, I'm the greediest motherfucker in the world. Your dehydration? Fuck it. Lick your motherfucking lips. Your fucking legs are all sore. You feel like you got shin splints and stress fractures? No, you don't. You got sore fucking legs. Get out of your head and stay hard. You are still you on those days you don't want to do things. It's easy to conquer when it's good weather. You got good sleep. Work's going good. The family's good. You feel great. Your body's not injured. Those are the easy days to conquer. But who are you on those fucking days when all hell is broke loose? Your body's fucked up. You're sore. You're depressed. You're miserable. You're not the favorite person at school. You might be getting bullied. You might be falling behind in life. Who are you on those days when shit's all fucked up? That's the great divide. Those people who get up on those days when everything's fucked up and still grind, 
That's the separator right there. Stay hard. There's no fucking hack, bro. There's no fucking hack. Yeah, you may this and that and saunas and, this and all this shit that they, yeah, it's great. There is no fucking life hack. To grow that thing, how do you grow it? Do it and do it and do it and do it. That's the hack. The hack is gonna fucking suck. And that's what I realized. That's what I realized. Life, that's why I wanted to come on here today. I didn't wanna come on here and talk about no fucking passion and purpose and how to get the fuck out of bed and how to hit a fucking alarm clock and all this catchphrase bullshit. Cause that wasn't how I lived. That wasn't how I lived. I lived, I woke up like every human being does and goes, fuck man, I'm a fucking piece of shit today. How the hell is this gonna work out for me? And you fight that. And you fight that. You don't override it. No override button. It's the conversation in your fucking, like, in your head. So how do you do that? We don't have enough of these conversations about the real conversation that every human being is having. And they have no idea how to get out of it, but they do. It's that shit right there, man. Yeah, build your will. When I was 19 years old, I was going through the Air Force trying to be a pararescue. I was doing push-ups, sit-ups, swimming. I was doing all this shit, knocking out the park. One of the best in the class. But the second a fucking obstacle got in my fucking way, I wasn't prepared for it mentally. I was a beast. All I was doing was I was training a bigger, stronger, faster, quitter. You gotta train your fucking mind for all obstacles that might get... That you think you cannot achieve. And then there you get better. Stay hard. This is where you win. Come on, come on, go ahead, go ahead. Come on. Uh. This is where you win. This is where you win right here. In life, a lot of us believe that we're working much harder than we actually are. We think if we fucking got up early for four days, you've earned something you gotta drop your entitled mindset it's dead weight we believe in one part than we actually have trust me most of us have it we got big goals this year but in true godless fashion there will always be setbacks so people think I killed that 300 pound man of mine oh no he lurks that's my inner bitch Whenever I'm in a setback or defeated, he pops up in my mind. Every morning I wake up and get a nice green smoothie. Get after it. This morning, I smell in the kitchen, making an eggs cooking. That big boy in my mind, he's always waiting with a knife and fork in one hand. Bib on there so he don't get all fucked up. Wait and call me back to the dark side. Oh no. Not today, motherfuckers. I know how you look. I know how you sound. There'll always be complications and setbacks before the finish line. We must be ready for it. Ha <laughs> ha!